If this is your first time using Snagit, you may be wondering, well, how do I start capturing my screen? Well, let me introduce you to Snagit's one-click desktop widget. With this handy little tool, you'll never have to go searching for Snagit. It just sits discreetly on your desktop awaiting your orders. Now, I find it to be a huge time saver, and I bet it will quickly become one of your favorite Snagit features. So here we have my desktop, and if you'll notice at the top center of my screen, a small half circle colored red. If I mouse over that circle, this is the one-click widget. And when I mouse over it, the widget actually opens. If I mouse away from it, it collapses. So I want to mouse back over it again here, and the large red button is our record button. So I'm either recording the screen, or I am capturing an image, or something to that effect. But that's basically the go button here. Now, the other buttons. I have a small blue button here that lets me know this is an image capture. So it's going to create a still image of my screen. I also have a little button here for video capture. So if I wanted to record my screen, say record several actions. Now these are just two of the many profiles or presets that come with Snagit. To view the other presets or capture profiles that come with Snagit, you mouse over this little button here, this little arrow, and if you click on it, it will reveal the additional profiles. And there are multiple pages of these profiles. So this is, say, page three. If I click this back button here, I can see page two, and you can see there's more profiles, and then even more profiles. And let's say you wanted to use one of these profiles, you could just select it, and now you can see my little red record button here has changed. It has a different set of icons to indicate a different profile has been selected. Now, in addition to the capture profiles, you also have access to other parts of Snagit right here from within the widget. So the first one is this little sprocket here, and this is gonna give me additional options, presets, uh, preferences, all kinds of things like that. So I'm gonna just click on this to reveal a small window here. And you can see there's a couple of standard presets here, the image capture and the video capture. And then I also have the ability to access the help documentation here or to open the preferences. Now, these are the settings for how Snagit operates here. So I can actually access those right here from the widget. Now I'm going to cancel those. And I'll come back up here to my widget. And I'm going to show you a couple more things that we have. We have the classic capture window, which I'm going to talk about next. And you can see we can access that here. And if I go right back to the widget, finally, there is the Snagit editor, which I will talk about in great length much later on in this course. But I can access it directly here. So you can see there's quite a bit of control just here in the small widget. So let me close these items. I'm going to close my editor and close the classic capture window. Because there's one more feature I think you'll find very handy about the one-click widget. Now notice mine is here top center of my screen. Well, maybe I don't want it there. If I mouse over the widget and it exposes down, I can see this little textured area. And when I mouse over that textured area, it tells me, click and drag to move the one click. So that means I can drag this item and drop it. Now, depending on where I drop it on my screen, it's going to navigate to another area of my screen. Now, it'll never remain floating out here. So if I just release it kind of this upper right-hand quadrant, you can see that it goes to the edge of my screen. So now it's kind of off to the right, still on the top. But what if I actually want it on the right-hand side of my screen? Well, I just simply drag it over there, and it will snap to that side. Now, I can also move it. If I mouse over it, I can move it up a little bit here and still have it on the right-hand side. I can actually mouse over it and drag it to the left-hand side. In fact, you can put it anywhere you want as long as it's going to be on the edge of the screen. The only exception here is that it will not allow you to drag it to the bottom of your screen. So here at the bottom of my screen, I have my task panel here. So, you know, your little system tray and all that sort of stuff is down here. So Snagit is not going to interfere with that. It's going to stay away from that. So it's going to stay either on the left, right, or top of the screen. Now, I personally like having mine up here near the top, so I'm going to put it right back up there, top center. The one-click widget makes capturing fast and efficient. By default, it's activated anytime you log onto Windows, so it's always available whenever you need it. Or turn it on and off if, manually if you prefer. Now, I really like using the one-click widget because I can access it from within my other applications for a quick screen grab or tutorial video.